Hello Bits friends, in this video I want to show you how to create this component and also I will show you how to connect these components together to create a necklace. So, I hope that this tutorial will be clear and see you soon on the next video. Bye, bye bye! To create this beadwork you need some needles, I'm using John James size 12. Then you need a bead weaving thread, actually my favorite one is 1G by Toko. Then you need a crystal, this is size 16. And you also need two colors of seed bead size 15. I'm using this one by Miyuki. And these are the numbers of the color. To connect the components together, I've used these crystals. This size is about 6 by 4 millimeters, and the smaller one should be 4 by 2 millimeters. And for the necklace, I've used two sizes of seed beads in the same color. Pick up 35 green beads and carry the beads to the end of the thread. This green bead here is a stopping bead and you can fix this stopping bead on the thread making some notes on the bead itself. Close the working around sewing through all the beads two times. In this way the thread will be fixed on the beadwork. Pick up one green bead, then skip the next cream bead here, this one, skip this bead and sew through the next cream bead in this way. Pick up another green bead and repeat the same step as we did before and again repeat the same step another time with the third green bead. Then pick up one cream bead and sew through the next cream bead without skipping any bead, as you can see. Repeat these uh, four steps for other four times until the end of the round. Now I'm going to add the last cream bead of the round and as you can see, without skipping any bead, I sew through the next cream bead and also I sew through the first green bead because in this way I will be ready to start another round. On this new round we're going to add only green beads. So pick up one of them and sew through the next green bead. Again repeat the same step with another green bead size 15 and so on until the end of the round. When you add the last green bead of the round remember you have to sew through the next two green beads because in this way you will be ready to start another round. Start this new round picking up a green bead and sew through the next green bead. Again, pick up another green bead and sew through the next one. Now pick up two green beads and sew through this green bead here but in the opposite direction, so in this way. Then sew through the two green beads again and sew through the green bead too. The reason why we did the loop here with the cream beads is because in this way the bead will be well connected to each other. Now it's time for another green bead and sew through the next green bead. And you have to go on this way putting green beads on the side of this pentagon and remember to put two cream beads here, here, here and here making the loops. I'm going to add the last green bead of the round and I sew through the next two green beads. Pick up another green bead and sew through the next one. Pick up a second green bead and sew through the first green bead. At this point pick up a green bead and sew through the next green bead because we have to put this new green bead between the two cream beads of the previous round. Now pick up a green bead and sew through the next one and go on like this until the end of the round. When you add the last bead of the round remember to sew through the next two green beads in this way. 
On this new round we're going to add only green beads, so pick up the first one and sew through the next one. Pick up another green bead and sew through the cream bead. Again I repeat the same step sewing through the green bead and go on like this until the end of the round. This is the last bead of the round and I sew through the next two green beads. Now the front part of the bezel is completed and we're going to start making the back part. First step is picking up a green bead and sew through the next one. Then pick up a cream bead but before sewing through the green bead, the next green bead, I suggest you to make the loop. So, sew through the cream bead at the bottom in the opposite direction, then sew through the cream bead we just added on the beadwork and only then sew through the green bead. So, on this new round we're going to add only green beads on the side of the pentagon and one cream bead here on the corner. This is the last green bead of the round and I sew through the next two green beads. We start this new round with a cream bead because on this new round on the corners of, of our pentagon we have to put two cream beads on the side of the cream bead that is already put on the beadwork. So pick up the first cream bead and sew through the cream bead on the corner. Then pick up another cream bead and sew through the next green bead. Now pick up one green bead and sew through the next one and continue adding green beads along the side of the pentagon and so on until the end of the round. I'm going to add the last green bead of the round and I sew through the next green bead. Then to be ready to start another round I also sew through the next two cream beads as you can see here and the first step of this new round is picking up a green bead and sew through the next one. I repeat this step until I reach the next cream corner of my pentagon. As you can see here I'm going to add the last green bead of the side of my pentagon. I pick up the green bead and then I sew through the next two cream beads as we did before at the beginning of this round. Now I pick up a cream bead and we need to make another loop. So I pick up the cream bead and then I sew through the two cream beads I was just going out from. Then I pick up another green bead and I sew through the next green bead and go on like this until the end of the round. Now I'm going to add the last green bead of the round. I pick up the bead and I sew through the next two cream beads. At this point I pick up a cream bead and I sew through the two cream beads I was just going out from and I also sew through the green bead the next green bead because in this way I'm ready to start another round. Before adding new beads and starting another round place the crystal cab inside the bezel. On this new round we're going to add only green beads so pick up the first one and sew through the next one. Again repeat the same step with the second green bead sew through the next one and now repeat the same step with the third green bead Pick up the bead and sew through the first green bead, then sew through the cream bead and the next green bead. You have to repeat this step every time you reach the corner of the pentagon. Pay attention at this point, this is the last green bead of this round. So I pick up the bead and then I have to sew through the next green bead, the next, the next cream bead and then also the next two green beads here because in this way I will be ready to start another round. We're going to start in this new round with another green bead and sew through the next one. I pick up another green bead and I sew through the next one. Now it's time for a cream bead and I sew through the cream bead on the beadwork 
again another green bead and I sew through the next green bead and I go on like this until the end of the round the last bead of the round is a green bead and I sew through the next two green beads we are almost at the end so pick up one green bead and sew through the next one now pick up one green bead and make the loop sewing through the two green beads we were just going out from now pick up a green bead and sew through the next green bead and go on like this until the end of the round the last bead of the round is a green bead I pick up the bead and I sew through the next two green beads on this new round there is no need to add more beads we just have to sew through all the beads the green beads and the cream beads because we want the beadwork to be tight on the back part and so I go on like this until the end of the round and the thread must be very tight as you can see I did my round of thread in the back part and then I sew through all the beads until I reach this green bead here this one then pick up three green beads and sew through the next green bead because in this way we are going to create some picot on the corners of our pentagon here's the first picot and now you have to sew through all the beads until you reach the next green bead here just before the cream bead and then you can make another picot and you have to repeat this for all the corners of the pentagon now the component is ready and I want to show you how you can connect this component to another one first of all you have to go outside from one of the cream bead in the middle here this one for example then choose a sequence of beads you like for my sequence I've chosen seed beads size 11 and donuts in two different sizes then pick up the second component and sew through the cream bead in the middle of the picot pull the thread and then sew through all the beads again until we reach the second component when you reach the second component before sewing through the cream bead size 15 in the middle of the picot check which side you started from for example in my case I started from this side so I have to sew through starting from the other side of the bead in this way if you want the connection beads be safe you can sew through the connection beads two or three times so you have to repeat the same steps and then when you are satisfied about the connection beads to close the work and tie off the thread you just have to sew through the beads of the component several times until you feel that the thread is really fixed on the beadwork and then you can cut the thread or otherwise you can reach another picot another central bead of the picot and then you can add more connection beads and connect two or more components among them I used the three components to create a necklace I have connected all the components and the final part of the necklace in the way I just showed you and to close the necklace all around my neck I've made on one part of the necklace this hook here that is composed by 30 seed beads size 15 as you can see here there is a seed bead size 11 then I add on my beadwork 30 seed beads size 15 and I sew through all the beads of the side of the necklace until I reach my component the first component here on the side I connected all the three components together and on the other side I made the other part of the necklace and here the other part of the clasp is component by the crystals and seed beads size 11 as you can see here I have put the crystal the first seed bead size 11 then I add 
two seed beads size 11, the crystal, the seed bead size 11, the crystal, the seed bead size 11, the crystal, and the last two seed bead size 11. At this point, I saw through the seed bead size 11 at the, at the base, and I saw through all the crystals and beads of the necklace until I reach the component on the other side. And at this point, I have closed my work, sewing through the beads several times, and then I tie off the thread. I hope that the tutorial was clear, I hope that it can be an inspiration for you, and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!